Mahavatar Babaji literally, great avatar revered father or elder or wise is the name given to an Indian saint and yogi by Yogaraj Lahiri Mahasaya and several of his disciples, who reported meeting him between 1861, 1935 and 1980. Some of these meetings were described by Paramahansa Yogananda in his book Autobiography of a Yogi, including a first-hand report of Yogananda's own meeting with the yogi. Another first-hand account was given by Sri Yukteswar Jiri in his book The Holy Science. According to Sri M's autobiography, Apprentice to a Himalayan Master, Babaji was Lord Shiva. In the second last chapter of his book, he mentions Babaji changing his form to that of Lord Shiva. All of these accounts, along with additional reported meetings, are described in various biographies. According to Yogananda's autobiography, Babaji has resided for at least hundreds of years in the remote Himalayan regions of India, seen in person by only a small number of disciples and others. Again, according to his autobiography, shortly before Yogananda left for America in 1920, Babaji came to his home in Calcutta, where Yogananda sat deeply praying for divine assurance regarding the mission he was about to undertake. Babaji said to him, Follow the behest of your guru and go to America. Fear not, you shall be protected. You are the one I have chosen to spread the message of Kriya Yoga in the West. Topic. Childhood There are very few accounts of Babaji's childhood. One source of information is the book Babaji and the 18 Siddha Kriya Yoga tradition by Marshal Govindan. According to Govindan, Babaji was named Nagarajan, King of Serpents, by his parents. V. T. Nilakantan and S. A. A. Ramaya founded on 17 October 1952, they claim, at the request of Babaji, a new organization, Kriya Babaji Sangha, dedicated to the teaching of Babaji's Kriya Yoga. They claim that in 1953 Mahavatar Babaji told them that he was born on 30 November 203 CE in a small coastal village now known as Parangapitai, Kudalore district of Tamil Nadu, India. Babaji's Kriya Yoga Order of Acharya's Trust Kriya Babaji Sangha and their branch organizations claim his place and date of birth. He was a disciple of Bigar and his birth name is Nagarajan. In Paramahansa Yogananda's autobiography of a yogi, many references are made to Mahavatar Babaji, including from Lahiri Mahasaya and Sri Yukteswar. In his book The Second Coming of Christ, Yogananda states that Jesus Christ went to India and conferred with Mahavatar Babaji. This would make Babaji at least 2,000 years old. According to Govindan's book, Babaji Nagaraja's father was the priest of the village's temple. Babaji revealed only those details which he believed to be formative as well as potentially instructive to his disciples. Govindan mentioned one incident like this. One time Nagaraja's mother had got one rare jackfruit for a family feast and put it aside. Babaji was only four years old at that time. He found the jackfruit when his mother was not around and ate it all. When his mother came to know about it, she flew in blind rage and stuffed a cloth inside Babaji's mouth, nearly suffocating him, but he survived. Later on he thanked God for showing him that she was to be loved without attachment or illusion. His love for his mother became unconditional and detached. When Nagaraj was about five years old, someone kidnapped him and sold him as a slave in Calcutta, now Kolkata. His new owner however was a kind man and he freed Nagaraj shortly thereafter. Nagaraj then joined a small group of wandering sannyasin due to their radiant faces and love for God. During the next few years, he wandered from place to place, studying holy scriptures like the Vedas, Upanishad, Mahabharata, Ramayana, Bhagavad Gita. Topic. Quest for self-realization According to Marshall Govindan's book, at the age of 11, he made a difficult journey on foot and by boat with a group of ascetics to Kataragama, Sri Lanka. Nagaraj met Siddha Bogarnathar and became his disciple. Nagaraj performed intensive yogic sadhana for a long time with him. Bogarnathar inspired Nagaraj to seek his initiation into Kriya Kundalini Pranayam from Siddha Maharshi Agastya. Babaji became a disciple of Siddha Agastya. Nagaraj was initiated into the secrets of Kriya Kundalini Pranayama or Vasi Yogam. Babaji made a long pilgrimage to Badrinath and spent 18 months practicing yogic Kriya taught to him by Siddha Agastya and Bogarnathar. 
Babaji attained self realization shortly thereafter. It is claimed that these revelations were made by Babaji himself to S.A.A. Ramaya, a young graduate student in geology at the University of Madras and V.T. Nilakantan, a famous journalist, and close student of Annie Besant, president of the Theosophical Society and mentor of Krishnamurti. Babaji was said to have appeared to each of them independently and then brought them together to work for his mission in 1942. Topic. Reports of meetings, 1861–1980 Shyamacharan Lahiri The first reported encounter with Mahavatar Babaji was in 1861, when Shyamacharan Lahiri called Mahasaya by disciples, devotees, and admirers was posted to Ranikhet in his work as an accountant for the British government. One day while walking in the hills of Dunajiri above Ranikhet, he heard a voice calling his name. Following the voice up the mountain, he met a tall, divinely radiant sadhu. He was amazed to find that the sadhu knew his name. This sadhu was Mahavatar Babaji. Mahavatar Babaji told Lahiri that he was his guru from the past, then initiated him into Kriya Yoga and instructed Lahiri to initiate others. Lahiri wanted to remain with Mahavatar Babaji, who told him instead that he must return to the world to teach Kriya Yoga and that, Kriya Yoga Sadhana would spread through the people of the world through his Lahiri's presence in the world. Lahiri reported that Mahavatar Babaji did not give his name or background, so Lahiri gave him the title, Mahavatar Babaji. Many sadhus in India are called Babaji, and sometimes even, Babaji Maharaj, which has caused confusion between Mahavatar Babaji and other sadhus with similar names. Lahiri had many meetings with Mahavatar Babaji, recounted in several books, including Paramhansa Yogananda's autobiography of a yogi, Yogaraj Shyama Sharan Lahiri Mahasaya, Lahiri's biography, and Purana Purusha, Yogaraj Sri Shama Churn Lahiri, among others. There are references to Sri Lahiri Mahasaya in Samporna Sripada Vallabha Charitam as guru to Sri Shirdi Sai Baba, who initiated him to Kriya Yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Disciples of Shyamacharan Lahiri Several disciples of Shyamacharan Lahiri also reported having met Babaji. Through discussion with each other, and the fact that some of these encounters included two or more witnesses, they confirmed that the person they saw was the same sadhu that Lahiri called Mahavatar Babaji. At the 1894 Kumbha Mela in Allahabad, Yukteswar Jiri, a disciple of Lahiri, met Mahavatar Babaji. He was struck by the resemblance between Lahiri and Mahavatar Babaji. Others who met Babaji also commented on the resemblance. It was at this meeting that Mahavatar Babaji instructed Sri Yukteswar to write the book that was to become Kaivalya Darshanam, or the Holy Science. Yukteswar had two more meetings with Mahavatar Babaji, including one in the presence of Lahiri Mahasaya. Pranabhananda Jiri, another disciple of Lahiri, also met Mahavatar Babaji in the presence of Lahiri, at Lahiri's home. Pranabhananda asked Mahavatar Babaji his age. Mahavatar Babaji responded that he was about 500 years old at that time. Keshabananda, a disciple of Lahiri, tells of meeting Mahavatar Babaji in the mountains near Badrinath around 1935, after he became lost wandering in the mountains. At that meeting, Pranabhananda reported that Babaji gave him a message for Paramahansa Yogananda that, I won't see him this time, as he is eagerly hoping, but I shall see him on some other occasion. In his book Autobiography of a Yogi, Paramahansa Yogananda wrote that Mahavatar Babaji visited him before his journey to America and addressed him saying, You are the one I have chosen to spread the message of Kriya Yoga in the West. Other disciples of Lahiri who reported meetings with Mahavatar Babaji include Kabalananda Jiri and Ram Gopal Muzumdar, who recounted meeting Mahavatar Babaji and his sister, whom he called Mataji. In addition, a disciple of Trelanga Swami, Shankari Mata also called Shankari Mai Ju met Mahavatar Babaji while visiting Lahiri Mahasaya. <laughs> Baba Nasib Singh Ji Babaji was seen by Baba Nasib Singh Ji, when he was saved by Mahavatar Babaji when he was suffering from blood cancer. Babaji told him that his divine plan is to serve the needy. Babaji also gave him a divine staff that was able to cure the miseries of people. Babaji said to him, 
follow my instructions and serve the ones who are in need, with this divine staff you will be able to help others and cure them. You have my divine blessings. I will be always with you whenever you will need my help." Traditional legends Legendary powers and age have been attributed to Mahavatar Babaji by the disciples of Lahiri. These stories have led many to believe that Mahavatar Babaji is a legendary person, rather than a real sadhu that was seen by numerous witnesses from 1861 to 1935. Paramahansa Yogananda, in his autobiography, described Mahavatar Babaji's role on earth. The Mahavatar is in constant communion with Christ, together they send out vibrations of redemption, and have planned the spiritual technique of salvation for this age. The work of these two fully illumined masters one with the body, and one without it is to inspire the nations to forsake suicidal wars, race hatreds, religious sectarianism, and the boomerang evils of materialism. Babaji is well aware of the trend of modern times, especially of the influence and complexities of Western civilization, and realizes the necessity of spreading the self-liberations of yoga equally in the West and in the East. In addition, Babaji is reputed to be ageless, according to some accounts, and about 500 years old around the late 1800s, according to Pranabhananda. Yogananda reports that, according to the disciples of Lahiri, nobody knows Babaji's age, family, place of birth, true name, or other details. Dear to the analyst's heart. According to Yogananda's autobiography, he has a sister called Mataji, meaning, Holy Mother, who also has lived throughout the centuries. Her level of spiritual attainment is comparable to her brother's, and she lives in a state of spiritual ecstasy in an underground cave. Although only three pages in the book are dedicated to her, she is described by Ram Gopal as young and surpassingly lovely, as well as a glorious woman. Yogananda frequently prayed out loud to Babaji Krishna. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Modern claims and popular references. Mahavatar Babaji was one of the many people featured on the cover of the Beatles' 1967 album SGT. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. He can also be seen on the cover of George Harrison's 1974 album Dark Horse. In Book 3 of Conversations with God 1998, by Neil Donald Walsh, it is mentioned that Babaji may at one time have resurrected himself from the dead, just like Lazarus, Jesus and others. In the book Ultimate Journey 1994, by Robert Monroe, the author visits a person through his astral projection although no name is mentioned who turns out to have lived one single life for 1,800 years, which would suggest that he was born around 200 CE. The 2002 Tamil film Baba written by Rajinikanth was based on Babaji. Swami Maheshwarananda writes in his book The Hidden Power in Humans, that the guru of the legendary Babaji is Sri Alak Pariji, in his autobiography Apprentice to a Himalayan Master, a Yogi's Autobiography 2010, Sri M. Ali narrates his meeting with Babaji near Nilkant Hill. In his book, Sri M gave description of Babaji as golden complexioned, bare bodied, except for a shining white loin cloth that barely reached the knees, and flowing brown hair that fell to his shoulders. He mentioned that a lovely scent emanated from Babaji and he looked divine. In the second last chapter of his book, he mentions that Babaji himself was Lord Shiva. He describes seeing Babaji changing his form to Lord Shiva again and again. He also mentions that Sai Baba, Jesus, Guru Nanak and many others were disciples of Mahavatar Babaji. Songwriter Roger Hodgson of English rock band Supertramp composed a song called Babaji in reference to Mahavatar Babaji. This song is recorded on their 1977 album Even in the Quietest Moments. See also Harakan Baba, a teacher who appeared in many places in northern India near the Himalayas between 1861 and 1924. Haidakan Babaji, a teacher who appeared in northern India and taught publicly from 1970 to 1984. Bhagavan Tirumalaiswami, a human with special powers lived during 1800s. List of Hindu gurus and saints. Topic. Notes. Topic. Further reading Topic. 
External links Autobiography of a Yogi on Wikisource Autobiography of a Yogi, Chapter 33, Babaji, The Yogi Christ of Modern India Autobiography of a Yogi, Chapter 34, Materializing a Palace in the Himalayas Autobiography of a Yogi, Chapter 36, Babaji's Interest in the West Autobiography of a Yogi, Chapter 37, I Go to America